Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the second episode of our Deadman Mode series. We ended episode number one on a nice little cliffhanger and today's goal is extremely simple. Finish 99 strength before going to bed and get as high of a Slayer level as possible. Fire Giants. I don't think this is bad. Ironically, this fire stuff here, how much does this look for? 8,000, that is like six prayer potions if the prices are lucky. That's that's a huge drop this early on. Are you kidding me? I just got a giant champion scroll. You can't make this shit up. Can I get like supply drop at least? Like why are you giving me giant champion scroll, my guy? I, I don't even know how rare it is. I think it's one in 5,000 and I've killed 73. I kid you not, I've killed exactly 73, man. It's the body number. Looking pretty good account wise though. Up to 78 strength already, completely vibing. It is a rune scimitar. This is such a nice trip, by the way. I can make like so much money off of this trip. Boys, first supply drop. We got sharks. 29. 29. It's not bad. We take those. What a task this was. 1, 2 fire staffs. 3, 4, 5. That's 50k. A scimitar, that's 80k together. A bunch of herbs. We basically made like 100k easily in this task alone. Greater demons. Uh, probably gonna do that as well. But first, let's go upgrade our gear a bit. We're gonna get a Nezi helm. We are gonna get gloves. And we should be chilling. Okay, I can start with rune ones for 6k only, absolute steal. And then I can go to Camelot and just run north and get myself a Nezi helmet as well. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 50 million dollars and we got a need is not helm. I'm gonna invest this money into buying one dragon scimitar. So if I were to die, because I'm gonna go to a fairly dangerous spot, I'm completely vibing, I just go right back out again. I think if I buy this rune early on, it's gonna pay its price easily. I mean, if somebody attacks me right now, I don't think they can kill me, I'll be honest. And if they do, well played. Oh, we got a rune full helm. That's good, that's like 20 something K. That is amazing drop. Oh, and I can also bury these ashes. Let's see how much XP. 375, more than a big bone. This is pretty good as well. All right, so we just got 55 Slayer, which means we can now get the Blood Velts. Now, if I combine that with the Sigil of Slaughter, I can assign myself Blood Velts once I have enough points, which could be absolutely insane way to get ins ridiculous Slayer XP and at the same time, decent money. Enhanced Harvest. You always gain quintuple resources from mining, fishing, woodcutting, or farming. The sigil does not stack with sigil of the forager. Wait, quintuple? You get five of everything. Wait, that's insane. Dude, imagine you fish sharks. You get five sharks per shark. Bro, that's broken. Thanks for the kindness, man. I've got, I've received so much kindness in the last day. It's been like absolutely ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it once again, okay? We're moving up to 91 combat bracket. And this time, there is 10 Europeans, 4 Americans, and 6 Americans that were before us. And I'm gonna blame this on us dying to the Monkey Madness 1 boss. For now, we are gonna be finishing 78 attack and then only focusing on strength and just go crazy on the Slayer. So we can now complete Desert Storyline up to Beneath Cursed Sands or Myriki storyline up to a knife in the theater. And if we will do TOA, we're just gonna unlock Beneath Curse Sands in this one. Another task is completed. This one, we ended up getting two rune full helms, so which is probably about 50k and 9k in just drops. Probably about 60k profit, we'll take it. Blood Veld. Ooh, it is absolutely gorgeous playing this video game right now. This is probably the best task we could have ever asked for. Little upgrade here for the account. Black boots, chuck him on. There it is. Wonderful. Boys, 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 boys. I just got 37 crushed nests, 16 dwarf with supply drop. This is 37 brews, basically. Up to 61 slayer already. Probably one of my favorite tasks in game, especially early on. And uh, yeah, 78 attack is my next big goal. And then just strength, strength, strength is basically the plan. Sigil of the Guardian Angel. You are kidding. This is so insanely good, by the way. If you guys do not know, this is absolutely super insane. This protects your entire bank. You only lose what you're wearing. So if our dumbass decides to go for a breach, I can go in a fucking Dorgish and crossbow and risk absolutely nothing. Toss this on. If somebody kills me, who cares? We're chilling. There it is, boys. 78 attack, meaning if we get a VLS, we use a VLS. So from now, it's just strength probably all the way to 99. That's it. 
it's late i'm gonna keep it quiet all right so we just reached 55 magic again it is the middle of the night so we're keeping it nice and quiet and we can now cast high alchemy so this is gonna accelerate our magic training by a lot and i'm just kind of alking whatever i get there it is a very very long task completed and i'm a bit sad because we didn't get a single superior <laughs> Aberrant Spectres, straight to another amazing task that also can drop us superiors. There we go, we bought it for only 74. Sigil of the Formidable Fighter is a absolutely phenomenal sigil. Right now my sigil combo is sigil for the Formidable Fighter, as I said, plus 5 damage. Sigil of the Feral Fighter gives me attack speed and 20% chance basically for attack speed. And Sigil of Consistency, so I always hit at least one. So together, this really makes it so I hit non-stop. Is this auto gameplay? This is not auto gameplay, Klasinki. What are you saying? Yo, we just got a Mystic Rope Dark Bottom, which is actually pretty fucking good. Yeah, that's like 50k drop right there. Nice. Okay, well, this task is so much money, actually. It's insane. I'm gonna try to buy Sigil of the Alchemania. 21k by the way that is so insane that is complete steal what a ridiculous task boys four rune full helms one lava dragon one mystic bottom we got like 200k plus money in just just weed spiritual creatures i cannot do that on my level black demons absolutely yes i will do that at the moment of recording this clip we are rank one strength uh, which is very cool okay Pull out the sigil of the Alchemaniac, unattune, attune, start alking. 50k for that. Dude, it's so easy to make money actually. That's already 100k. 120, just like that. And we just made sh so much money for free basically. Kurask. Wait, what do I even need for Kurask? But this could be insane money and I have 30 points. I'll do this. I think this is crazy good money, actually. I'm gonna do it with Mage until I get Leaf Bladed Battle X, and then I'll do it with Melee afterwards. Okay, so we will use this opportunity of the task that is maybe not the best to train our magic up. So I used the Sigil of the Menacing Mage, Consistency, and Alchemy, because these guys can drop some decent Alks. Here we go, completely out of casts, and we got some Coconut. Rough trip, didn't really get any good drops at all. It's really... There it is, Leaf Bladed Sword, huge, absolutely massive for the account. We can now do this task melee. There it is, 75 magic. I use the Slayer's enchantment on this. Enchanted Slayer stuff requires 75 magic and 55 Slayer. We have 55 Slayer, 75 magic. We can enchant it, wield it, and we should be hitting much higher numbers right now, speeding this task tremendously. I am starting to think that bigger and better is bugged because this is my third task in a row where I could get the superior version and I just don't get any superiors. Ladies and gentlemen, I see a sigil. It is a sigil of the forager. You always gain triple resources from mining, fishing, woodcutting and farming. This sigil does not stack with the sigil of enhanced harvest, which was the one we got earlier. So this one is triple, the other one was quintuple, I believe. I see a sigil. It is a sigil of devotion. Ooh, that sounds cool. What is this? What does it do? Dropped bones are automatically buried. Ashes are automatically scattered. Prayer XP gained from these activities increased by 200%. That could be pretty decent for certain tasks. Ended up getting all the way to 80 magic from just doing that task, which is perfect. Came all the way back now because, uh, well, I finally have Leaf Bladed Sword and I still had like 20 to kill. And now we're gonna try to finish 99 strength before I go to sleep. Ooh, another Leaf Bladed Sword. Okay. Task is completed. Let's see what we get for the next one. 72 Slayer, 90 Strength, looking very solid. Steel Dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a skip. Oh, but I have 90 points. Uh, but that's definitely a skip. That is too slow. Blood Veld. Yes. Phenomenal task. Nice. Finished my Blood Veld task up to 91 Strength. Let's see what we get next. Black Dragons. I can do this easily in Falador. Uh, don't need anything special for it. Still maintaining rank 1 Strength at the moment. Blood Veld. Yes, nice. Very fucking good. There it is, the big level 75, meaning we can finally go do gargles and make a bit of money. So I might actually, after this task, which by the way is still gonna take a long time, I got 109 left. 
I will manually select the gargoyle task so I can make a bit of money. Now I have a couple of ideas what to do with money. One of them is to invest the money into chins and one of them is to invest money into cannon and cannonballs because that can be a nice way for me to passively train range without even needing to worry about it. All right, we finally finished the blood well task and I cannot do a mistake by taking a task. We are now 76 slayer all the way to 93 strength and we just take a slaughter sigil right now and I should be able to pick my task Gargoyles. <laughs> I just put them in the thingy, but that was a small upgrade from black boots to adamant boots. However, they are now in the looting bag. Unlucky. We're at a point where levels are gonna be really hard to get or very slow to get. So at this point, I need about like 40 minutes for a level, I'd say. Uh, but we're 94. I will definitely try my best to push to 99 before sleep. We'll see if I'll manage though. Uh, it is currently 8.30 a.m. and uh, we haven't slept yet, so... Okay, we got a brittle key, uh, which I always thought I could use as an escape, but you can't really because there's a 7 second timer. I don't think I'll be killing the boss at any point. I am starting to get convinced that my account is bugged and I can't actually get superiors because, hear me out, 77 gargoyles. 475 blood welds, 150 kurasks, and 150 aberrant specters. And I'm yet to see a superior in this game mode. Yes! Nice. Okay, so Gmol, which I don't know how much it goes for on the market, but it's probably gonna be worth at least a little bit. Oh, and the rune full helm right after. Nice. Okay, we get a rune scimitar and snape grass, and that's the supply drop, I think. That's a weird one. Oh, no way. Dude, I have seven left and I got an emblem with shark. We can use this for brews, we can use this for restores, prayer potions, all the good stuff. This is really, really insane. If we check 800k, now obviously mall is probably a bit less, but look at the amount of alcabas we got from this task. Absolutely insane. Oh my god, people are buying pure essence because you can craft a lot of runes. I just got 73k just from pure essences. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's an instant casket. And it is an instant casket. 75% chance, let's take a look. Yeah, that's that's not bad, by the way. That is really not bad. There it is, one step closer. Level 96, about an hour away from 97. So we're getting there. These levels are the slowest. Well, uh, we got a long bone. First one on the account. One step closer. That's fire giant task completed. The clock is 1040 AM and we have 96 strength, almost 97, super close. Greater demons, ah, uh, we'll do, we'll do, that's okay. Here we go, we're now starting the hardest level, 97 to 98 strength, let's get it. Strength is looking sus, uh, 97, almost 98, and we are 40 minutes away from the breach. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a good task, it's so important right now. If I could just get a solid task again, we've been super lucky, we can then reach the next streak, and if we reach the next streak, we already have a bunch of free points, so... Oof, Black Demons is not bad, honestly. We got ourselves another Supply Drop, 31 Carambo Ems, and 18 Cadentine. All right, moving all the way up to 80 Slayer. Strength is almost at 98. Breaches are in 20 minutes. I'm ready, but I'm ready. All right, so there we go. Finally, 98 Strength, and now the final level to go, probably exactly one hour away. However, the breach is in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna pause it for the breach to see how it feels. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pop the Guardian Angel because my bank is uh, pretty beefy at this point. I don't know if it's Guardian Angel beefy, but still, I don't wanna risk it. And breach is starting in one minute, so I should probably buy a few more Manta Rays and be ready to go. <laughs> I'm going with the Dorgus and Crossbow, yay. Breach has spawned Alcarid, single. North of Alcarid. Okay, let's just get a dueling ring real quick. Okay, I'm going crazy uh, already. Alcarid? Where? It, it just right next to Alcarid, you can't miss it. Oh, there's Kriara. Oh my point. god, here is my life? Is that okay? What the fuck's going on, dude? Instantly, Kriara. Holy shit. What? That's the melee from Inferno. What the shit? Okay, that's the first one. I got Wine of Zami and Cosmic Rune. Wait, why? I don't even see. Oh shit. Okay. Dude, this is sick. General Grador, hold it, be careful. There's fucking bandos spawning inside of us. I think I'm doing good though. There's like a lot of loot on the floor. Just need to brew up Perma. What did I just get? Dragon Battle Axe Emblem. 
Oh my god, I got a big drop. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, I got emblem. I'm going for the warp jelly. Dude, I'm getting so much loot actually. Oh my, I'm getting so much loot by the way. This is crazy. This is the dumbest thing ever. I got another tier 5, I think. Two tier 5s. Is there more? I don't see. No, there should be more. There should be more. Bro, there is... Look how much loot there is on the floor, man. I think people just died. Dude, just steal everything from floor. Oh, Abyssal Demons here, by the way. There is so fun, actually. I have so much loot on me right now. It's crazy. Dude, so much loot is on the floor, by the way. I just... I'm afraid to school up right now. Not gonna lie. This is just from people dying, by the way, I think. Oh. Krill. I should have brought the DS, I'm trolling. Okay, Krill is dead. Surely, surely. Snapdragon, dude, I'm getting so much drop, but nothing is like insane. Oh, I can't even click the boss, bro. Bro, this is so sick. They made it really good for singles as well, like actually. Bro, I'm so bad at looting. There's so much shit on the floor, but I'm always too late. Okay, I got a few there. Oh, I looted a lot. Let's go. How many people died, dude? Oh, Zilli. Oh, shit. Krill and Zilli, same time, by the way. Dude, this guy's just looting. These people are just fucking coming here and looting, man. <laughs> dude. My looting bag is full, bro. I kid you not, I have 2 million in my looting bag. Okay, I need to take this to the bank. 2 million, bro. I have 2 million in the looting bag. What? <laughs> what is this? Don't die. Don't you dare die. I'm going right back, let me tell you. Dragon Halberd, no. Another tier 5 emblem, though. Okay, I got a lot of DPS on that guy. Nice. If you get a lot of DPS, you get like tier 5 emblems like, like crazy. I thought melee would be like really shit at this, but it's actually so insane. Oh, another dragon battle axe. Nice. Make sure you turn like left click on oh, Kriara spawning. Kriara is the craziest, like... Because it hits everyone. I and mean, usually you should have it always... Uh, always right click. Because sometimes you need to hit back players. This is so crazy. This is so much loot. Oh, Bandos. I'm gonna eat here. Oh, Bandos, Zilli and KBD. That is scary. Oh, so much loot. Oh, Mystic, this is mine. Another tier 5. Yes. It's so hard to tell when you're getting hit by a player or a mob. Okay, I quickly bank, come back. Wait, how is there just more stuff spawning, bro? More Rex? Ooh, Rex can be good. Bro, you could legit come here and just loot people that die. It is so crazy. Oh, I think I'm MVP for this for sure. Oh, I'm tanking Krill. Fuck this, I'm running. Oh, KBD nuked so many people. You just see stuff spawning on the floor. That has to be... The most fun thing I have ever done in this game. How many emblems did we get? How much loot? 560k more. We are so rich right now, actually. I am always doing this on cooldown. We're just gonna go finish up uh, 99 um, strength right now. But goddamn, that was crazy. Also, I'm pretty sure if I refresh this, look how many points I got just from the damage that I dealt. So that has been so good for the account as well. I think I'll try to sell a bit. Yeah, all of a sudden we have the money. There we go, 800k. And I, I have so much more. I'm not sure what to try and buy with this. Chins. We're gonna try to buy chins. I have a feeling that other people have the same idea right now. Because there has been a lot of money coming into the economy. I got 200 more chins. Okay, let's go finish our strength before it's gonna be too late, man. Opa, there it is, another emblem. <laughs> Dude, getting an emblem is not as exciting anymore after seeing that many drop in the breaches. Not gonna lie, but... Another tier 5, I was thinking if it's maybe worth for me to buy a full elite void. Because I think I have enough emblems to do that and it probably would be worth it. There it is, 99 strength, uh, no sleep yet and I don't think I can train any more XP. They made it so you can't go past 13 million. I am the second person in deadman mode to reach it. However, I'm gonna quickly relog to secure my second spot. Yeah, the breach was just too good. Like, I could have not went for breach and gone for, you know, trying to reach first to 99 strength. But I think second is also good because we enjoyed the breach in the process. If we now log in, if we look at the scoreboard, 
do a little refresh. We have secured our second spot, which is beautiful. And I'm just gonna finish this task because we're almost done. You guys already know the drill. We need to speak to Sloane and uh, get our cape here for all our efforts. And there it is. Usually this would be a pretty useless cape to have, but I would always do it just for flex. However, this time around, it is actually extremely useful because we have unlimited teleport to very close to the bank and it's safe zone nowadays. And yeah, right now we're just gonna start rushing towards the higher combat bracket and then chinning. That's basically the plan. I'm really looking forward to the future. Deadman mode is pretty damn exciting right now.